What? Okay, what the hell happened here? As many of you know, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I went I went to Pottermore. I checked out my little Patronus. I know a lot about Harry Potter, okay? I've also read every book and watched all the movies, but it's been a bit since I've seen them. Specifically, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I remember this book bopping, brother. I remember it being real good. But then I turn on the movie and I'm having like a really good time until I realize something. This movie is the worst movie ever made. Okay, before you get upset, just hear me out. So there's a big deal in the movie and the book with this thing called the Goblet of Fire. This thing is super important. It gives wizards the power to blow up their YouTube channel, so like everyone wants that. Now a lot of people put their names in and just like magically shuffles it around somehow and magically picks three people. I guess you could have just used a machine for that, but they wanted to be magic for it, so whatever. Not gonna fault them. But it picks three people who are gonna duke it out to find out who's gonna get the billion million views on their YouTube channel page. Dumbledore, the big boy wizard himself, says, Yo, if you're not old enough to eat shit, you can't put your name in the goblet, yo. So spoiler alert, that does fucking nothing. So instead of three wizards fighting for the cup, <gasps> Four fight for the cup. Four wizards, because it's Harry Potter 4. The wizards that participate in the tournament are French, Vladimir Kozlov, Twilight Prequel, and Harry Potter? What? How could Harry Potter be in the main story of the Harry Potter book? That's insanity. But instantly, you should be able to see the problem here. Harry's way too young to qualify for the tournament, so the ma there's an issue here. Clearly, something went wrong. Now, here's where the big issue appears in the movie version of this story. In the original canon version written by J.K. Daniel Radcliffe, Dumbledore confronts Harry about this clear issue, and his quoted passage is, Did you put your name into the Goblet of Fire, Harry? He asked calmly. Now this is very in line with the character of the gentle Dumbledore. Now let's once again look back at the scene in the movie. You put your name in the cover of fire. So what the fuck was that? There's such a massive difference. I, I can't believe any version of this source would stray so far from the original. I mean, at least in every other version, they actually kept things slightly similar. Like for an example, in the King James version of the scene, Dumbledore says, Harry, the crash was 17 years ago. You have to accept reality. Also, yo, did you put your name in that cup? Now see! That still keeps the core feeling of the scene while adapting extra bits onto it. Something the people at the Harry Potter movie studios clearly have no fucking idea about. And don't get me started on the Netflix series adaptation. Harry, I don't know if you get it, but I'm weird. I don't fit in. I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without this hat? That's weird. No, don't you run from this! But that's a whole other beast we're not gonna talk about right now. So here's the thing about these big studios, they have no idea how to adapt a story properly, they're just looking to make a quick buck. See, they wanted, like, random aggression in there for no reason, so they went with this approach. Did you put fire? And this is probably how they should have handled it, if they were gonna adapt it properly. The Goblet! I hear what you're saying, honestly, I get it, I get it. Jamboni. It's not that big of a deal, alright buddy? This scene changing alone doesn't really affect anything. <laughs> you're fucking wrong! Here is why you're an idiot. Spoilers, dummy! In the fifth book, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry says, Dumbledore, you've been nothing but kind to me, especially that time with the goblet situation. It's a shame that you're so sick. And then Dumbledore, in his infinite gentle wisdom, says, Harry, I used the stones to destroy the stones. Now, how the fuck would that interaction of kindness make any sense if Dumbledore just, like, rapidly attacked Harry like a maniac the moment he was in view of his smell -o vision So he established that this scene is ruined, and because of that, destroys the entire Harry Potter franchise as a whole. But... Why did the scene get tampered with? Who decided it was such a good idea to change the story Mr. Radcliffe wrote in such a bizarre way? Well, we can find the answer quite easily. Dumbledore, you see, enters the scene, screaming at Harry about the goblet. A goblet is a, a chalice of some kind. What is a chalice, you ask? A cup. What is a cup? Cuphead. What is Cuphead? A video game. And what do video games have to do with this?
<laughs> you dumb bitch. Daniel Radcliffe may have written the books of Harry Piopper and the Sorcerer's Philosopher, but the hidden secret all along is that the movies were adapted into their movie form by the director of the Resident Evil video game franchise, Paul W.S. Anderson. All the proof can be found immediately. Just like the Resident Evil films, the story is nothing like in any way. Like seriously, who is this Hermione character they added? Also, if you look closely, Hagrid is actually played by Mila Jovovich, who Paul casts in everything. And why does he cast her in everything? Because she's his fucking wife. That's right, Paul, I'm looking at you. But why the fuck would Warner and his brother ever let Paul get their hands on this beloved intellectual property? Well, I'm gonna try something here. And uh, bear with me, it's the first time I've ever decided to try this, okay? So, it could get rough. All right, all right, so you take the name Paul W.S. Anderson, you just, you mix it around, you mix it up and just fuck with it, and then you... Oh, fuck. Dumbledore, it's me, Harry Plopper.